What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Guys, just want to give you the heads up. Wednesday, this coming Wednesday, just before Thanksgiving, I will be on live with The Real Jimmy Roberts on his channel at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. So make sure you join us. It's going to be pretty interesting. I'm probably going to be doing some stuff about the moon. So make sure you guys join in. And I'll put a link to his channel. If you're not familiar with the channel or how to get there, there will be a link in the pin post in the comment section, right at the top of the comment section. I always pin my post there with all of the details and links to the photos that we use. All right, anybody who's been on the live feed with both Jean Ward and myself, you'll recognize Jean's work and his photos right here. Let's go ahead and jump on that. Okay, and you can see right here, ancient salt mines and agricultural farms discovered on Mars. Now, when we were on there, I seen some interesting things right on this ridges what look like kind of walls, but they look like structures. And Jean said you ought to do an enhancement on it. That would be pretty wild. So again, this is his work as far as him seeing these and the video that he's done. And you can see it down here. Let's go all the way down the page. Right here. And as always, guys, you'll get the link to this. You guys know that. All right. This is what I found interesting. So when you go down here, you can see these photos right here. This is interesting. And again, he called us either kind of like rice fields or rice paddy fields or salt mines. And I couldn't agree with them more. These are absolutely intelligently made. But are they stones or are they structures? And this is what we were looking at. Let's have a look. This is the area down in the bottom here that we're going to really look at. But I want to show you something up here because we noticed this during the live feed. So let's jump into that. Now, when you first look at this from a distance, you go, oh, they're probably all stones and everything. I don't believe that they are. Let me show you why. And guys, if you want, get out your magnifiers because you're going to need it for this. Um, there's a reason for it, and you'll understand why. Okay. When I see this area here, I see square, rectangular structures, so on and so forth. See this? I'm going to put it right here in the middle of the page. Look at these right along this ridge. Notice this right here. There's one, two, three, four darker square structures. Or is it a wall? Regardless, it's intelligently put there. Now, notice the other structures right here. You can see what looks like squares and rectangular pieces like this one here it is like a a darker gray between it but you can see all these other little pieces scattered about and if you look over here on the side in this dock area you can see pieces sticking out here as well move up a little bit here check this out right over here look at these whiter pieces it's almost like all of these things were sitting on some sort of ridge and that down here is either water or salt mines as jean said now I find it interesting that these are all on these weird kind of raised areas. But was there water in between these? What I find interesting is as you go down, and we're going to go down here. Check this out. Look at these things all on these one, two, three, four. It's almost like if you go to the ancient ruins to Machu Picchu, they're laid on a hillside and all these structures are running along and the very edge of them again if this was all filled in with water here in the bottom at least down from here all the way around then this would make sense now some people might say oh those are compression artifacts are they really i don't know let's have a look you guys get your magnifiers out right okay let's do this let's back out and guess what at this point well i can even go one step back in at this point you should not see any compression artifacts look here on the upper left none nowhere over here have a look at these right now. Notice the whiter structure right here. And you have all of these other structures. Now, the only thing I can think of is that... Now, when I see these things kind of smoothed over, this is what I mean by it right here. This area right here, I'll put it in the middle of the page. You can see some whiter pieces, but it looks like it's kind of like they went over it and tried to hide it. Is it manipulated and censored, or was it a giant flood during this catastrophic time on Mars? And what we're getting is mud going over half of these things, and then half of it is exposed. Of course, you guys can give me your take on it, right? Okay, go down to the bottom here. Check out this ridge right here. Look at these pieces. Like I'm going to try to put this right in the middle. Right here. Right there. Look at these parts and pieces, and then look at the rest of them. So what I do in Photoshop is try to burn around these so we can get the entire shape of these said structures, right? So let's, let's jump out of that. and go into Photoshop. Okay, here it is right here. There they are. 
chopping them up just to here. Okay. And again, I can back way out of this and I can see these things. Claire's a bell. Now, is it possible again that they've had mud thrown over the top of them? And this is the reason why they're almost all the same color as the actual ground or soil around them. Great possibility, right? Move to the bottom, like I said, and check these out. You can see this all along here. I'm just going to go back a little bit so it's not too grainy. Here we go. Use your magnifier on this. Look at these. I also want you guys to take note of this. Right here on the top. Right here, all in this line. Look at the pieces right here, all along this right side of that line. Look at the pieces there. All right? Is that natural or artificial? Again, you guys be the judge. All right, let's get into this. I now enhanced this, brought up the exposure. That's all I did to it. And of course, we burned around these other objects to find out what these things really are. If anything had a white signature, we try to bring it out a little bit more. Again, check these things out. They seem to be all lined up like this. At least it appears that the more congested areas seem to be right on the line, right? Again, we want to make sure none of this is actually broken up because we zoomed in too much, right? Now check that out. Now, let's jump back down to that ridge and have a look at these. Now you can see where I burned these things and went around them to see if we can get out the shapes, the entire shape of these things and not just half of them, right? And here you go. What are these objects here? Look at the ones that are lighter colored, like squares and everything else. Right there. Check out this area right here. Okay. And again, these are not artifacts because I can zoom out and still see these. Artifacts, you usually have to get pretty darn close into a photo in order to see the artifacts. And we're pretty darn close in there. And you don't see anything here. Look at these objects. And when it comes to a lot of these, I don't think we're seeing the whole object. Like this one here appears to be right in this area. Appears to be like mudded over, like, like it's been washed over, right? Look at these pieces down in here. A lot of them are symmetrical. They look at them right in a row, but they have some kind of like little dark circle. Now, this is the same thing that Jean sees a lot of times where he'll see a megalithic block and there'll be something on top of it. And that's what I believe we're seeing here. Right here, again, right here, boom, boom, that's what we're seeing. Let's have a little bit more of a look here. Now, just to the right of these, we can see these, like that. Check these things out, guys. Again, got these weird funky shapes which, with a dot on top, some kind of circular pattern or something on top, right? So let's do this. Let's jump back out, and there you go, guys. Use your magnifiers. We're out. There's no way these could be artifacts right now. I believe a lot of these were on a ridge. And you can see that. All the way down like this here. And we have what looks like an intersecting area right here. Going up. And it starts to drop down. And you can see it right here. Look at the way these things are made. These are not giant boulders. These now I speculate that these are actually structures. As well as the ones we're seeing here. On a layered hillside right here we've got some smaller pieces here to the left and again we don't want to go in too far it will pixelate and break up but check this out right here we can see part of this I'm just gonna zoom in for now so we can have a better look it makes you wonder again if this is manipulated right here you can see where it looks like this structure goes like this it's white right here you can see it doing this and there's bits and pieces. You can see one here, one here. You can see what it, lo what it looks like it's doing this. Like that's the other end of it. We've got something like a circular piece right on top of it. And it looks like they try to hide parts of it so it blends in with the ground. Or has it been washed over? Now, again, back out. To make sure this isn't a compression artifact, I think that's pretty cool, guys. And I speculate that these are actually structures. Just by looking at these things, the way they are designed, that's what it looks like to me. And again, just look at all these smaller parts here. I'm just going to back out just a hair bit. Okay. I'm going to go down to the bottom here as well. So we can you can get all of this in. 
And there you go. Check that out. Pause it right there. Use your magnifiers. Look at all the bottom ridge there. Look at on the layered side of this hillside. And to me, that just screams intelligently made. I'll just zoom in real quick. Check this out right here. Three dots. One, two, three. You can see them right there. And again, we'll back out. And it'd actually be a little bit clearer just by using your magnifiers. You can actually see this better. When you zoom way in, they tend to break up, right? There you go. Guys, tell me what we're seeing here. A lot of you guys seen this when we were live, and I said I was going to enhance these to try to bring them out a little better. Again, this is Jean Ward's findings, but I wanted to enhance them. He thought it was a great idea. Wanted to bring this to you. And I believe he is spot on and absolutely correct when he says all of those ridges you see and all these things spiral off in different shapes and everything else are in fact intelligently made. They surely don't look natural or naturally occurring. Again, you guys drop your comments down below. I wanna hear what you've got to say about it. Guys, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so this way YouTube will share it. And don't forget to share this on your social sites, leave a link to it as well. Because also, like I said, I'm gonna have all the links to the photos as well as Jean Ward's site so everybody can check that out. Anyway, guys, again, uh, just a reminder, Wednesday evening, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, I'll be joining Jimmy on his live feed this time, and we're going to have a, a pretty cool time. It'll be about an hour, hour and a half's worth, so it's not going to be super long. You don't have to worry about that, and uh, we're going to have a good time with that. So uh, please join us then, and I think you guys have a good time as well. Anyway, guys, I'm going to jump off of this. Got more Moon as well as more Mars, and I am working on a lot of the Antarctica stuff, so stay tuned for that as well. A lot of you guys in the past have said, hey, what do you think about Antarctica? Can you show me more? Well, I found a lot more stuff that Sarah was talking about, and we're going to emphasize on her findings as well as her photos. And I'm going to show you some phenomenal stuff that is just absolutely mind-blowing. And, uh, and, of course, I'll show you more of her stuff as well. So, anyway, stay tuned for that. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, guys.